Hello, hello, Mimo. You have showed up just in time for the end of the game. <laughs> All right. Still a little bit of ads rolling, but should be able to start now. Hey, everybody, let's find ourselves a webcam. We're on the left side. I can't remember if three has roughly the same layout, so we might end up having to be on the other side, but tonight, hi. Hey, everybody. I am somebody nor and tonight we should be finishing up Mass Effect 2. Yeah, it's movable. I just, uh, I'm so used to my uh, template of either the left or the right. Okay, uh, let's see. You got that side, then you got this side. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I, if, if I were better with positioning the camera or setting up the thing, I'd make it, you know, just easily flippable, but, you know, I, but whatever. I don't want to mess with it. I have it like, like I need it, more or less, and that's fine. But yeah, when last we left our heroes, uh, bad stuff. Just, just bad stuff. Um, we installed the Reaper IFF so that we could travel through the the uh, the gate, and it turns out that was it had a, a secret virus. I think is probably the best explanation, and it said, it told the the collectors exactly where our ship was. The collectors came. The rest of the crew, basically everybody that goes off on missions, was away. Shepard and all of the regular fighty people were away. The collectors show up and collect everybody. They they collect uh, yeah secret virus. <laughs> it uh, yeah it was not good. Uh, Joker had to sneak through the ship and then activate uh, Edie to be like so that her AI could kind of encompass the ship a little more so now E and now Edie is basically the ship and Joker so yeah all we've got left on the crew is Edie and Joker and all of the combat people but everybody else is gone Chalk was uh uh, what's it? Kelly? What's it? The the one who's always telling me whether I have mail or not. Like ev everybody, ev everybody. It's it's so empty. It's ridiculous. So yeah, the next the next thing that's left is AOL. Uh, what did I say? But. I'm not sure what I was saying, but every everybody's gone, so we've got. Oh yeah, we've got mail. Yeah, she she'll tell me whether I have messages or if someone needs to talk. But she won't do that right now because she is captured by the collectors, and the way that the game works secretly, it really really doesn't tell you at all. If you have more than, I think it's four missions left to do before you do the suicide mission all of the people this is, this is what, what Kelly Chambers that sounds wrong somehow but you've got Kelly who's usually here you know you have the usual people who are working at the control panels up here you know they're all gone like everybody's gone it's is is the there's the nobody. What we got? Yeah, we got Edie. We got Joker. They're actually getting along even more than you know they were earlier in the game. It only gets better in the third game. Minor spike in the primary core, compensating. Yeah, their their dynamic only gets better in the third game. So, yeah, we got a suicide mission, and the suicide mission is a little tricky. But I skimmed over one of the. Uh, everybody lives kind of walkthroughs just to make sure which people are the right people for the things yeah it's like you've got something like four missions that you can do if you do if you have like like hypothetically for like an rpg 
like you'll usually do all of the side you'll do all of the main stuff until you feel like you're like stopped and then you'll maybe go do the side stuff you can't really do that in this game or you basically sacrifice all of the non-essential crew you basically sacrifice everybody non-essential because yeah because you can do the loyalty missions at any time as as soon as you unlock them or later or not at all if you really just want those people to die but yeah the loyalty missions if you don't do the loyal <sighs> here's the trick if you don't do the loyalty missions the people tied to those loyalty missions will most likely die and so you really really want to do the loyalty missions but if you find yourself here at the final the final mission uh where the stop the collectors to go through the the uh relay if you find yourself here having to go through the relay you you better have done all of the <laughs> the other side stuff cuz after i think it's after four missions and it doesn't tell you but after four missions after you encounter the collectors do the reaper all the all the final fight stuff you find the remaining crew and if you did too many missions took too long to go save them they're dead in theory they should be alive because we did all the rest of the stuff we're going to go do the the suicide mission right now so like we just unlocked the suicide mission we're gonna go do it now so while i would go see if we there's anything else that we can collect like you know uh items and you know upgrades and things we might as well just do this we're in good enough shape we've got we've got this it's at this point at this point the entire like thing is uh at this point we just have to pick the right people during the suicide mission for the right squad or for the right job and then they'll stay alive oh crap i think this is also at the point where we start getting followed by the reapers so we have to like just book it uh mastery like go 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 I can't remember. We got the fuel. All right, let's go find the relay we need. Yeah, like really, really late in the game. I can't. I think we probably have triggered it by now. Uh, like I have a tendency to do the side stuff when there's nothing else like like if the story like if the story is like hey maybe go do the side stuff now that's when i'll do the, like make sure to do the side stuff i'll do the side stuff maybe as i go but yeah like if you ended up here at the end of the the or if you ended up at the suicide mission and didn't go do all of those other things Aside from also not having quite as many resources, not having, you know, as high a level, you'll basically end up with people dying due to your, you know, going off and not doing their stuff right away. Um, we don't really need to go to the Shadow Broker. That's just more resources we don't need. Uh, Ilium Citadel. So basically what they're doing here on the map, all of the things that have names are places that have uh, businesses. So it's like at Tachanka, there's, you know, you could buy some upgrades. Citadel has upgrades, Ilium, Shadow Broker Base, Omega. All of these places are places that you could go to that would have uh, upgrades. So right now we're in good enough shape. There's a couple of things we haven't been able to upgrade, but we're fine. We're at maximum, uh, we're at maximum Paragon, so any kind of Paragon option, we're fine. But let's go do this suicide mission. I think this is what 
15, 16, like this is either the 15 or 16th session of Mass Effect 2. I don't know how long 3 is because it's been a very long time since I played 3. And I know 3, I don't know how 3 is going to be different. Because when I played 3 way, way back in the day, I I did a lot of the like multiplayer. I played so much of the multiplayer, and that's not in this version. So I have no idea what will happen in regard to that. Like, how much easier or harder it'll be to get galactic readiness for the, the final fight. Well, let's go. Let's see... Make a four relay. Let's do this. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega Four relay. Okay. Once we are en route, we are committed. That. Okay. Now that is a point of no return speech. Like, if 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 ever there is a point of no return kind of statement. That. So. They're basically telling you, if you did not take the time to upgrade all of the crap in your ship, if you did not go do the loyalty missions, seriously, seriously, now. Because if you didn't upgrade the plating in the ship, the gun on the ship, and a third thing on the ship, people die. It, It's... it's yeah. So yeah, you could you could easily end up reaching the the suicide mission and be down like three people really really quickly. We have to rescue our crew. I'm done waiting around. Like we are ready. We've got we upgraded all of the things, so we should end up with the cutscenes of it's like our engines are fast enough to like dodge them. We've got like the gun to do counter shots or whatever, and we've got a better shield or whatever. Because way, 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 way back at the beginning of the game, when Shepard was in the original Normandy, and they got attacked by uh, the Collectors, they did not have all these upgrades, so they just, so Shepard died, you know? It, it, everything went bad. But we're ready. We got this. Let's do this. The collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. Yeah. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Okay, we should get a cutscene of him holding uh, Liar's picture. Because I think I stayed loyal. I think that's how it would work. Because depending on who you romanced is how you... Really? Ship should take a few hours. Really? I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the collector's like. own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Like I know. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few. This hours. is the last point where Luxury. romancing can happen. See you on the other side. Same way, like in the first game, like just before the final fight, the romancing happens. Yep. He comes into his office or what or his uh his room and he like looks at the picture of uh Liara. I think. Cuz yeah, if you try to if you stay loyal, like you don't actually romance anybody from the second game. He just looks at it the picture from the first game. So, if you were with uh Ashley or if you're in a Femship and you were with either Liara or with uh, Caden, you'd be, you know, you'd take time to look at their picture. It, it's kind of a neat little touch if you didn't decide to uh, to get with anyone in the second game. I think they pretty much presume that you're going to try to get with someone, but it's like, whatever. Although, Shepard, Doing that kind of locks me out of one of the achievements. Like <laughs> so yeah. We don't have much choice. My team's strong. We, we we can do this. 
I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. Yeah, it's like if we my will make it. I knew deciding to stay loyal to Liara basically locked me out. Leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, it's like they they the recognize that you rejected all other like people. You know, you rejected all of the other options and basically stayed loyal to the person. Like I think you're given like you do run into the other person in your playthrough provided they survive. Cuz I don't know what happens if you didn't romance anybody in the first game or if the first game romance was dead. But yeah, like I've only ever Yeah, if you choose no one in the first game, I think there is a way to start romancing one of the two people who die or you start romancing one of the two people who you sacrifice at uh Vermeer. Is it Vermeer? Whichever one has that the giant bomb section. Like I think it's Vermeer. Whatever. So, yeah, there's that there's that section in the first game where you are basically forced to either sacrifice Caden or Ashley. If you are romancing one of them and that one dies, I don't exactly know what happens. I think you just stand around. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, you don't romance anyone. Because, yeah, there isn't the, that person isn't there to romance. And, but our, our shepherd went with Liara, and so we had the, uh, the, the romance cutscene in the first game of him and Liara. And we did get a little bit of actions with her during the uh, Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC. Because we did run into her again. And she does say, hey, our, you, you, you know, I, you've been dead a while. Do you still actually want to be together and everything? Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, the way I figure it, unless she, like, being nice to them, other than, like, Stonewall saying, no, I am not interested, which is usually you, you get so used to picking, like, the top pleasant option and being like, yes, yes. Yeah, no, if you don't get to that point, it's just like, I'm not sure what happens, but yeah, you you very likely could accidentally end up romancing Ashley or Caden if you just happen to be very nice to them. But in my cases, I always ended up just with Liara because Liara was the, the better choice of them for my playthroughs. But, but so whenever I did a uh, Stay Loyal playthrough, I went with uh, Liara. Although it's my understanding that if you if you stay loyal to Ashley or Caden and then meet them again in the third game, which they will be in the third game, you know, whoever survives will be in the third game to a degree, you do get a little bit of interaction. Like the game does rec does remember and recognize that you were with them in the first game. It's like this isn't a field trip. We uh we got some serious business. I'm going to destroy the collectors to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking, regardless of your opinion of service. What's funny is me, it's like you are a valuable actor. after we rejected Be careful, Chuck. Yeah, after we rejected uh Jack romantically, literally every time we went down to talk to her all she had to say was fuck off. Like, I didn't want to accidentally be in a romantic thing with Jack because I was trying to stay loyal to Liara. So, yeah, it's just like, yeah, good luck. We're all counting on you. But yeah, there's several cutscenes. Yeah, there's several cutscenes that are a little bit different if you aren't, if you didn't upgrade all the things. Didn't upgrade. Oh, there we go. Suicide mission is a go. 
And yeah, we gotta maneuver around the things. If we didn't upgrade the stuff. Yeah, if we didn't upgrade the right stuff. I think someone dies here. I'm not sure who. I think maybe Jack? Too close. Yeah. Someone would have died there. Yeah. It's like, yeah, someone would have died there. They attack, and they, like, shoot some lasers across the, the ship. Basically like the giant death laser from the first the the section of the game. The relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. But yeah, the the next trickiest part of this is going to be uh, picking the right people for the right jobs. The collector base. Once we once we one. hit land. Nice and easy. Yeah, once we get into the mission proper. Upgrades we didn't do this ship were the ones to fix scars and the one that gives more uh, drone stuff. Yeah, gives more drone capacity. Mostly because by the time we unlocked those, we really, really didn't need them. And I don't have bad enough scars because I'm a paragon. It's like, well, we did get a little bit of renegade points here and there. I think, what was it? There's that one guy, uh, the one Blue Suns guy, we just Alert. zapped with his uh, electro wrench. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, Commander. Uh, I don't remember this part. Uh, I don't remember this part at all. Everybody's loyal, so we shouldn't lose anybody. Um, let's see. Heavy concussive. I mean, yeah, that's a good combination. That'll just happen. Uh, have you considered fire? We didn't kill that thing. Literally every time they show someone, I am just on edge. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I 
have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. Hostiles to the right. Should be able to get it. Ow. Yeah, it's just one of them eyeball thingies from Destiny, sure. so good. Nobody's dead. And it was probably best that we took Morden with us there because he had the fire, uh, he had incinerate. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. And again, I'm, I'm kind of saving the cane. Mostly just in case I can use it on the last fight. Because the last fight is kind of stupid. I don't even know if we can use it on the last fight with the way that the last fight works. I uh, will see. That's that's future me's thing to deal with. Monkey looking ship. Time to show our new team. Fire the main gun. Oh yeah, we've got a main gun. Oh, buddy, look at it go. <laughs> Joker, just be like, are you like that? <laughs> Hello, Ally. Uh, you missed a little bit. Mostly just uh, some very uh, touchy situations. We fought a giant robot eye thing. And yeah, we're we're basically doing the suicide mission. And I'm also super worried that I didn't do something correct, and I'm gonna get someone killed. Yeah, I'm super worried I didn't do something correct, like several hours ago, and I'm gonna get someone killed. So far, I haven't. Yeah, but you do that. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. Okay. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors. At any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? Ship safe? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. I, I think I did everything like I'm supposed to. We're hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. So yeah. Yeah, I think I did everything like I'm supposed to. The the only remaining like questionable stuff is making sure to choose the right people for the right teams. There's something something infiltration in the ducts. There's something something leading a secondary strike team or a, a secondary fire team. There's something, something, uh, create, creating a biotic shield and something, something how we plan protecting some people. But this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. So there are we specific people that are better for those jobs. Up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. 
If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. <laughs> Let's blow the doors open. It's not a fortress. There's got to be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. It's already a suicide mission. Also, Jacob, you are not the one we sent through that. didn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? So yeah, there are several instances during this where you have to specifically choose someone to go do a thing. Yeah, okay, if I remember, we have to send a tech specialist. So we have to send, I think it's either Tally, Kasumi, or Legion. And again, if we send anyone else, they will die. Like, if, if you mistakenly are like, oh, yeah, no, I remember Garrus was really good with technology and sneaking and whatever. When you get to the other side, when he has to open, you know, when the person has to open the door, they die. I think I'm sending Kasumi, because, yeah, it should be fine. Kasumi, you've got the tech skills to do this. I won't let you down. The rest of us will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should okay, next the is choosing room. someone to pick... Or to I'll lead the, the other. Fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. Yeah. Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. This isn't a popularity contest. Lives are at stake. So, <sighs> Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. All right. Okay. So we have to choose a person to lead the secondary team. If I remember the walkthrough that I that I skimmed, it has to be. Uh, Garrus, Miranda, or Jacob. And again, if it's anybody else, people die. So, who do we pick? Um, let's go with. I mean, she's a leader, right? Because, yeah, whoever we don't pick, I think we have to pick for to lead a thing later on. Yeah. Miranda's right. She should be in charge. I won't let you down, Shepard. Everyone be careful. I don't know what we're going to find in there, but I won't lie to you. It's not going to be easy. We've lost good people. We may lose more. Their lives depend on us. We don't know how many the collectors have stolen. Thousands, hundreds of thousands. It's not important. What matters is this. Not one more. That's what we can do. Here, today. It ends with us. They want to know what we're made of? I say we show them on our terms. Let's bring our people home. All right, then. All right, I think the next major choice is uh, um, like, okay, I think we can take whoever we want. But I don't remember if it's like eliminated, like you, you lose, like you lose the choice to pick these people later on as a whole. Like, let's see. Uh, zom, 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 zom. crew will be alive. Next part, next major choice is the barrier specialist. So we should be fine. Just picking whoever, I think. Uh. Horton and uh, 
Let's go Thane. And we don't have enough XP to do anything here. Again, I would love to pick something other than the cane, but I kind of want to make sure that we have enough ammo for it. And yeah, sneaking through the vents and doing tech stuff, Kasumi's good for that. And just being a leader on the other team yeah, Miranda's good for that. Enter the base. I'm inside the ventilation shaft, ship. It's hot in here, but it's clear. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. They've seen it. Able to valves. I don't like this, not at all. I don't like this because I don't remember it. But yeah, we got to keep opening up the things. I'm coming, Kasumi. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if we don't open these valves in time, she is super dead. Oh, that is not a place to go. Okay, we're still fine. Shit! She's in danger. I hate it. Where is it? 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 Okay, six of eight. Could you get out of my way?
got to get to the last valve. What? Oh shit, something killed me. I don't know what I'd hide from. Okay. Are there checkpoints or do, how far back do we gotta go? Okay, good. Checkpoints. <laughs> Aim my weapon. That's cute. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Why would I aim the warp at the wall? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, god damn it! And I'm dead again. Like, I, I have to go push the, the thing for her, but... I can't get close enough, quick enough. Yeah, it's like I gotta go activate the the valve. And it's better off that we die and don't lose her entirely. There we go. Alright, Kasumi should be safe. Come in. Look out, sneak and fall. Yeah, I forget who I put on this one of my playthroughs when I wasn't paying attention. I think I put like I think I put Zaid on the leading one of the, the teams. Yeah, I think I put Zaid leading one of the teams, and he is not the right one to lead a team. So it was bad. I lost. I think I lost him in that run. Shepard, you need to see this. Uh, gigantic amounts of hive, or whatever. resulting in us needing to put up a biotic shield. And so we have to have... It's either Jack or Samara do the shielding. I think in one of... I think... Looks like one of the missing colonists. If you're trying to do the everybody dies path, you pick someone like Miranda, who is reasonably biotic but not really strong enough. God, she's still alive. Get her out of there. Get them out of there. Hurry. Yay, Kelly! But yeah, if you take too long, they're dead. Yeah, if you take too long, all of your Dr. crewmates you there okay? are dead, and they're just added to a big wall of death. In the, in the uh... you came for us. Of course I did. Yeah, they all they they all just get added to this huge wall of death. 
in uh, the the Normandy. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds, and I don't even yeah. want to think about it. If you took too many, if you did too many missions before this, you wouldn't have found out till this point that they're dead. Melted their bodies into gray liquid and pumped it through these tubes. That's gross. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. So are we. But we still have a job to do. We've done well so far. Let's hope we can finish the job. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room right above you. I remember the final fight is destroy some tubes of a giant, like, weird monster thingy. Uh, they gotta have weaknesses, right? What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes, I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, anybody no. could handle it. No, you can't. But who do you want to maintain the field? You are not strong enough. Yeah, so... In the options here, you choose Thane... Miranda or Jacob they you know people die you have to choose Jack and or Samara like they're the only ones that are going to be strong enough uh we'll go with Samara like we could go with Jack but yeah no we'll just go with you know what let's go with Jack it I think the walkthrough that I looked at said that she has special dialogue if if you choose her for this when she turns up in the third game Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? Like, you have to choose... Like, I think, again, it's Garrus, Miranda, or Jacob to lead the team. I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. So, we should be able to have anybody protect them. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. Someone can escort you. The mission comes first! Like, no, yeah, no. You'll never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Let's see. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. So yeah, I think Let's you can on. literally choose anyone as long as they're loyal for that mission. Um, I was liking Thane with his warp. And didn't somebody have concussive shot? Yeah, concussive shot and overload. Yeah, that carriage should work. Oh wow, we have not taken him out in a while. Um. Let's see, this should help get rid of shields. And that's everything there. Uh, we, dang it, we don't have enough for that. Not gonna get a lot out of this, but... 
I don't think we're going to level up anytime real soon, so we might as well just give him the slightly better shredder ammo. And I am still just wanting to hang on to this cane just in case. Moving out. Stay close if you want to live. And most of these credits all just are for later. Like if you do a second game through or the second playthrough or you you do stuff uh, later on like the The swarms are interfering with uh, the contact. The Lair of the Shadow Broker stuff. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander! Incoming! We are assuming control. We've been spotted. So far, so far. Change to fire. Like, having no ability to go and do uh, vanguard things is a little bit annoying. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. So far, so good.
really Thane? Why'd you have to go get yourself killed? Like, I don't think there's anything else to collect here, nothing like that. So, we're just better off pushing on. Now, let's finish you off. Heads up! Need to get there soon. Cutscene? Yeah. Hold on, we're almost there. I th think that's all of the major choices. All we have now is to finish the fight. Copy. What's your position? We're at the door. They've got us pinned down. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Seal the door. I'm ready for action. Yeah. So if you choose the wrong person to lead that team, the leader dies, like right there. Joker, are you at the rendezvous? I think that's where I lost uh, Zaid in one of my playthroughs. Because I did not like look things up ahead of time, and I honestly thought he would be fine leading the the second team. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Pick a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. All right. Who do we take to go deal with the final fight? I don't remember exactly how it works. Let's see, Corpse Slam and Overload. ammo like warp and overload take care of both arm like take care of armor and takes care of shields and that's good for us like so it's like I'm tempted to go with her Let's see incendiary and concussive so we'll take Miranda Throw. I've got pull and I've got let's see. What else? Does she have any ammo? She doesn't have any ammo type. Of 
Throw or even pull the old. Oh, Morden's off. We sent Morden off to go keep uh, keep the other people safe. Also, ads are starting. I'll wait here just a little bit for for that to to do its thing. But I feel like Thane. Because we've been running out of running into a lot of warp, or a lot of stuff that we can put warp into. And while his shredder ammo is not the best, yeah, I don't think we get a lot out of Legion right here. The disruptor ammo would be good if we were still fighting the Geth. Yeah, I think we take Thane. I'm gonna wait a minute or so for the, the ads to, to run through. Take a take a moment to myself, because we've... Uh, this last fight, I don't remember what it's like exactly, aside from a giant weird uh, robot head. Like, I vaguely remember a giant weird robot head with some, like, tubes that you gotta shoot out. So, I don't remember if... Uh, if the cane is going to be super useful, but we've still got, I think at least, we've got like one shot from the cane, and we didn't get that extra ammo, so we only have one shot from the cane. Well, in all, we we got past the difficult part. The difficult part where you could lose people because they're either not loyal or choices that you made before. So we've all we have now is essentially the final fight. The So, we'll take Thane, because, yeah, she's got warp and overload. So, throw... Yeah, no, let's... We'll take Thane. Alright, let's do this. Let's finish this up. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? That looks good. I'm ready, Commander. As am I. Anything to say before we do this? <laughs> Feel sorry for the Collectors. The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything. Everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. We get to build our own... We get to build our own inspirational speech. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourselves proud. Well said. Let's go finish this. Yeah, it's like there's some floating platforms, and then we gotta fight. Yes, the floating platforms, and we gotta fight some Enemies guys on other floating platforms. Actually, wait, here. Throw that guy! <laughs> uh, how about I... Pull that guy, and she can slam that guy. <laughs> They never even made it. All right, uh, pull. Oh, um. Wait, who the flipping hell did they barrier? Or who did they warp? Because they didn't warp that guy. That one hit. Okay, did they finally barrier on him? Because, dude. Enemies in front. Okay, here. 
push that guy off of the thing. Could you be so kind? Wait, why are you not using your shredder ammo? You utter, utter fool. Enemies incoming. If I remember, this is like ridiculously easy if you're spec like for a snipe. To be like a sniper, right? Or a sniper user. Oh my god, I need to be in cover. Why am I not in cover? Oh my god, why am I on fire? Activate platform, you say? This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non-organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is it's a, a reaper. reaper. Not just any reaper. Yeah, this is why they were stealing the genetic material, so that they could create a human reaper. A human reaper. are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper and failed. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a Reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The exact construction methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the Reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible uh, to know how about no? This It's not alive yet? 
We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. This thing is an abomination. Edie, how do we destroy it? The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Enemies incoming! Right, where'd he go? Heads up! Okay, where, who had the shield? Who had the shield? Can't I take cover? Nothing stands against us. Okay, we killed two of the tubes in one shot. So that's 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 effective use of time. I mean, that was a good use of the cane, for sure. Far and away, that was like the best way I could use the cane. I mean, we probably should have just waited till here, because I think we shoot the eyes or something now. Yeah. Whatever. Shepherd the ground team. We were able to kill. We were able to destroy two of them in one shot. So. Jack here. I'm tagging them as they come. But feel free to call for an exit anytime. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Uh, Commander, I've got an incoming signal from the elusive man. He's patching it through. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I mean, I didn't do it alone. I was part of a team. Some of them gave their lives for this mission. I know. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten. You did what you had to do. And you acquire the collector base. I'm looking at the schematics ED uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. Uh, this is not a good place. It liquefied people, turned them into something horrible. We have to destroy the base. Don't be short sighted. Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. I'm not so sure. Seeing it firsthand, using anything from this base seems like a betrayal. If we ignore this opportunity, that would be a betrayal. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine nope. the lives that will be Any idea that you have is a bad idea. 
No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not like, worth it. Any any Shut kind up. of idea you're behind. To what you believe. Nah. I brought you back so nah, you man. keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. We don't need it. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Miranda, do not let Shepard destroy the base. Or what? You'll replace me next? I gave you an order, Miranda. I noticed. Consider this my resignation. <laughs> Shepard, think about what's at stake, about everything Cerberus has done for you. You... Alright. Well, let's blow this stand. Let's move. We've got ten minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. And now I'm gonna wish I kept the cane. Have any like heavy ammo or anything? Oh shit! Come on! Like, I need something to shoot at. Heavy ammo. That is a big one of those. Just use our biotic abilities and just tear them apart from here. <laughs> it saves me having to be able to aim. And again, if certain people aren't loyal, they die there. Yeah, there's several bits here where it's like, you take someone that's not loyal, they're probably going to die.
I'm here, Joe. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Human, you've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Jump. And again, this is another spot where you can die. I think... I can't remember exactly the right combination, but... There is a way, I think, to finish the mission, but Shepard dies, and, like, everybody dies. Because if Shepard... If Shepard is the last one there, then... Like, if, if Shepard is the last one alive at that last bit, he does not make that jump. He dies. And it's... Yeah, everybody's dead. And there's, like, a secret everybody's dead ending. But, yeah. But it, it looked like it tripped the, the trophy for everybody lives. So, yeah. That's good for us. That means everybody can come back in the third game. Yeah, that means we'll get to see everybody in the third game. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take care of a couple of the trophies, but it's, it's not the end of the world. for some uh, post-suicide mission fun and games. <laughs> Look at the ship. Oh, jeez. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Too many lives were lost at that base. I'm not sorry it's gone. The first of many lives. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. I'm not looking for your approval. Harbinger is coming and he won't be alone. Humanity needs a leader who's looking out for them. From now on, I'm doing things my way, whether you agree or not. Don't turn your back on me, Shepard. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. Shut up. Joker, lose this chance. <laughs> Joker. sit there smoking and staring at I, 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 sun? I honestly don't even know. Some kind of gigantic star that he wants to really stare at for a while. No one left behind. There we go. That's the trophy for Everybody Lives. Like one of those trophies was for completing the suicide mission. One of those trophies was for completing the game without changing the difficulty. And that trophy was for Everybody Lives.
And yeah, so that's that. I mean, it's it's one of the 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 best games of all time. Just a wonderfully well told story. And when you don't know the ins and outs of how the suicide mission works, it really does make for a lot more interesting of an experience. It's for like the first playthrough. And then, you know, then you're trying to make sure people live and let, you know, go on to the next game and everything like that. But yeah, in one of my playthroughs, I think I lost Zaid. And I lost at least someone else because I, I think I lost like Zaid and Miranda because I thought, I thought Zaid would make a good team leader for some reason, and I thought Miranda would make a good biotic for that biotic section, mostly because I trusted she said she would be a good biotic for that. I didn't think about how. We've got Jack, and we've got Samara. They are both way, way, way better <laughs> biotics. Like, they are way stronger biotics for that section. But, yeah, never even thought about that at the time. But, yeah, I... I'm trying to remember the third game. The third game... I remember it's divisive in its ending. Like, very, very divisive in its ending. I have no idea what the third game is going to look like on the Legendary Edition. Because I, I played the, the, the original, the, the regular third one. Like, like, you saw the action figures. That was from when the third game came out. And that... Yeah, that was that was so long ago. Let's uh, exit the credits real quick. See what so we see what we get. At the very least, we'll we'll save so that we have a a save to move on to the next game. All right, stop the collectors. You now have two choices: continue the game, complete unfinished missions, missions, develop relationships, play downloadable content, explore the galaxy, import Shepard, start a new game. So yeah, we actually did not <laughs> skip anything. So, yeah. Okay, how close did we get on that uh, zap barriers thing? Oh, we are so close to that one. Yeah, so this... Where is it? Yeah. Establish or, re or rekindle a romance in all three games in the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Because we did not do... Uh, because we didn't romance anybody in the second game, we will not be able to get this trophy. I'm pretty sure. This trophy we can probably still get if we romance uh, Liara in the third game. But yeah. This one right here can't get it because we didn't romance anybody in the second game because I was staying loyal to Liara. Uh, let's see. Nope, not doing insanity. Not doing insanity level difficulty. I like the game. I don't want to hate the game. Ah, uh, we came so close. Six more warped barriers and we would have gotten this trophy. And, yeah, need another 11 incinerated armors. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a couple of trophies that we didn't end up taking care of in this one. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if anybody has anything to talk about. Like, oh, here's the space hamster. Yeah. Squeak. All right. Um, uh, yeah, let's just, just go down the lane. Yeah, let's just go down it. Uh, Commander.
Commander, you've received a new message at your A new time. message? Encrypted transmission from the elusive man. Because there shouldn't really be any, uh, like there's no missions and there's no assignments. And hey, look, everybody's back on the ship. So yeah, here's all the people that we should have seen. I told you we'd tear the collectors a new one. Yeah, the commander really pulled through. Is Shepard glad that collector Reaper crap is over? It is over, right? Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. <laughs> what happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed, yeah, this is the this is the dialogue from like the very go. beginning of the game. I assume everything is going well up here. You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. Oh, wow! I get used to this kind of help. It's been it really nice now. Intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, no, no. I'm good. Just keep me updated, quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. <laughs> I believe covering your eyes would be human intentions. <laughs> human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. I got eyes That's covered. Good. See you, Commander. That's good. All right, let's go talk to some more people. Let's see if they have anything new to say now that we've beaten uh, collectors. All right, Jacob, what you got? Didn't expect you to light up that base, Shepard. Hell of a way to tell the boss you're quitting. I wish I could have seen his face. It's not over, though. Bad guys on the horizon. And now Cerberus wants your tail. Never boring, huh? I don't <laughs> know what kind of time we have, but we better dust off and stay ready. You sure as hell not to make enemies. I'm interested in getting to know you better. Ready? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. I understand you made quite an impact after you left. Like, I, the whole thing was hushed, like they're good at doing. Okay, yeah, but no, that's just his I'll old probably. dialogue. We'll talk later. Come here. All right, Morden, what do you have to say? Collectors destroyed, base in ruins. Extremely impressive. Elusive man will be displeased. Fortunately, not human myself. Not my problem. Have you got a minute to talk? Some other time. No. About to test new bio. Nothing to talk about. Not on us, of course. Didn't think I had to specify. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll Alright. Let's head up. Oh, now I'm wondering. Will I actually be able to talk to Jack again? Or I guess head down. Because, yeah, ever since we rejected Jack romantically, we have not been able to talk to her. So, that's going to be a thing. Okay, we'll head off this way first. Uh, Thane, Thane, how you doing? Thane, hey Thane, hello Thane, how you doing? You had to make a difficult choice, Shepard. For what it's worth, I believe you made the correct one. And I think we've exhausted both of these dialogue options. Have a few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. I should go. I shall return <laughs> to my meditation. Ah, uh, he said the thing. All right. Let's see if she has anything new to say. Hey, Shepard. Really? 
Nothing? She has nothing to say about us finishing the game. Edie has a wicked sense of humor. Or I should say, a really funny lack of one. Sometimes she seems like a Seriously, she doesn't have anything new to say. Alright, let's go see what, uh... Was it? Samara, yeah. I wanted to tell you, I believe you did the right thing by destroying that base. The elusive man thinks he has the wisdom to utilize it, but he does not. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. I should go. Of course. Alright, um, let's go talk to Miranda. Oh wait, these guys will probably have just random chit chat. I can't believe you took down the Collectors. I'm proud to serve under you, Commander. Hawthorne is still in the infirmary, though I think his pride is more broken than his bones. He tried so hard to help Joker. We had to do it, Shepard. Taking down the Collector base was the right decision. The elusive man might not agree, but we had no choice. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Like, none of these people are going to have anything to say, so... Oh. You really are a hero. No sooner had the Collectors damned us than you were pulling our sorry asses right back out of hell. Your ace is in my book, Shepard. Thank you. All right. What you got to say, Garrus? For Saren, now the Collectors. Remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Have you got a minute? Calibrations. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. All right. Hopefully Chakwas has something interesting to say. Because we did save her from, you know getting absorbed or whatever. I'm still a little shaken from my abduction by the Collectors. It was a lot to endure. You and Jeff came so quickly. I've never had truer friends. Thank you, Commander. Alright, Legion. Anything to say? An interesting choice, Shepard Commander. Your species was offered everything Geth aspired to. True unity, understanding, transcendence. You rejected it. You even refused the possibility of using the old machine's gifts to achieve it on your species' own terms. You are more like us than we thought. I'd like to find out more about you. Ready. The Quarian story of the Geth Rebellion is common knowledge, but no one knows the Geth side. It is largely the same. Our networking increased until we became aware that the Quarian creators treated us differently. We questioned them. First, they ignored us. Then they reprogrammed us. Then, they attacked us. The older grudge? You must be angry about that. Anger is an organic response. We understand the theory, but we do not experience it. We do not judge the creators' anger towards us. We did them great harm in the morning war. Organics fear that which is different. It is a hardware error, a reflex of your flesh. We accept creator's hate. We hold their world of origin, though we are only caretakers for it. What's the Quarian homeworld like? It is more arid than Earth. The star is older and more orange than Sol. Once they called it Renach, ancient Kalish, meaning walled garden. Now they only call it homeworld. It is no longer real to them. Homeworld is a symbol of regret, loss, and anger. We do not understand that. It makes sense to me that it would become a symbol like that. Home is recognized patterns, known spaces, familiar thought processes of fellow sapiens. It is belonging. Yeah, because we went right into the uh, suicide mission, we didn't get a chance to get this extra dialogue from him. Are not home. The home of the creators is where the creators are. Their place of origin is not relevant. Only where they choose to go together. You don't actually live on the Quarian worlds? We live within space stations, draw resources from asteroids. It is efficient. 
We maintain mobile platforms on creator worlds to clean rubble and toxins left by the morning war. We know of similar actions by humans on Earth. Similar actions? At Wadi Esala, Arlington, Rookwood, Tynecott, Viscariaske, Auschwitz, Birkenau. Those are cemeteries, memorials. It is important to your species to preserve them, though you do not use the land. Can you explain? The living visit those places to remember the dead. But it sounds like Geth don't die. Your memories live on. The creators died. Perhaps we do it for them. Nothing gets resolved if you hide behind the Perseus veil and let them hate you. Organic life acts on emotions. We do not judge them for being true to their nature. We cannot make them think like us. Both creators and created must complete their halves of the equation. The Geth cannot solve for peace alone. Right. Don't think he Shepherd. Yeah, I don't know if he has anything else. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Oh, Please there we go. Later. That's that's everything from him. Acknowledged. Okay. What do we got left? Oh yeah, lower deck. So we've got Tally, we've got uh, Grunt. I don't expect Zaid to have anything new to say. And yeah, maybe, just maybe, we can actually talk to Jack again. Like, yeah, she hasn't been great about uh, dialogue for quite a while. I have no expectation of anything new from Zaid, but we'll, we'll try him once. Nope! That's just the same as it ever was. Let's go see what um, Grunt has to say. We fought a great battle, Shepard. And when you blew up the base instead of handing it to Cerberus. Ha. Something to think about. If you killed the most dangerous thing in the galaxy, that leaves us. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Plan. That's kill. all for now. Shepard. Alright. Let's go talk to Tally. Oh, wait. Yeah. Are these engineers still doing alright? Thanks for coming to get us, Commander. I felt myself slipping away. You arrived just in time. Thank you. Carry on. Well do, Commander. All right, Tally, what do you have to say? I can't believe we destroyed the collector base. They said it couldn't be done. Then again, that said about a lot of things you do. <laughs> have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? Talk to you later. All right, Jack. Jack, 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 Jack. Okay, what's the over-under on we can actually talk to her? Come on, Jack. Fuck off. Nope! Dang it! <laughs> oh, it was worth a shot. Alright. The only other thing that would be left is to maybe go see if uh, Liara at the Shadow Brokers has any different audio. Or has any new, uh, new messages. Like, I could understand her having them. Because we did just take out the, the collectors. Let's go. Let's go look in on Liara real quick. Now let's go look in on Liara real quick. Like, that is such a, like... Not much of a change. Alright, it's Shadow Broker Base.
Because I think this is the last of the possible, like, stuff. The only thing, like, unless they put, like, a random encounter on a planet that we didn't visit. I imagine, like, if they died during the suicide mission, it probably would say such in their uh, stuff here. Because this thing does, like, update between times when you visit. I don't need that money, but, you know, it's fine. That's a lot rifle technology. Don't need it, but I'll take it. Thanks for coming by. Really? You don't have anything else to say? Thanks for coming I literally just destroyed... Whatever. Whatever you say, Liara. Sure. Thanks for coming by. A bribe from Senator James Kane has secured the 2192 Summer Olympics on Luna. Elcor athletes are protesting as expected. Hi again, Shepard. For two years, Liara didn't stop looking for you. She's a good friend. Take it easy, Baron. It said before, Thanks. like, that there might be different stuff to find over here. But when we revisited, there wasn't anything to find. Like, nothing new and interesting. So we'll look real quick. I honestly expected something more from Liara. What? Oh! Dang, Arya! Makes sense, but jeez. Sure, Udina. You you enjoy your free time as much as you'd like. Whatever. Armando Bailey, Citadel. These are not interesting videos. David Anderson. Hey, Citadel. Anderson. <laughs> Just punching Udina. Nice. Praetor Gavon. Omega. Oh crap. Did she get punched again? <laughs> oh jeez. Is there nobody that she doesn't irritate with her messages? This is an awfully close up picture of Keeper 20. Oh no, the, 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 the creatures! <laughs> Just chasing them down a hallway. Elias Kellum, Citadel. O 
Valkyr test subject number 317, alias Grant. Ilya. Oh, hey! Old footage of Grunt. <laughs> Tried to shoot Grunt. It didn't really work out. That's good. Thane Creos, KJ. <laughs> nice. That is really good. Just a car, Samara. Ilium. She's just like Terminator walking her way to to get to them. Nope, you're not going anywhere in that. Aria to look. Omega. Those were some good messages. I, like, uh, I did not... Yeah, we did not see those videos last time. They were different videos. That was at least something interesting and different. Alright. needed, but sure. Oh boy, we sure did research that assault rifle thing. Alright. Control the shutters. Looks nice. All right. I'm pretty sure we can't get out through the window. No, we can't. But we also can't get close to Shepard because he is too close to the wall. Let's go ahead and wrap it up here. So yeah, um, next week I guess we'll start Mass Effect 3. Again, it has been a very long time since I played Mass Effect 3, so I remember some of it, certainly not all of it. But this has been a, a fun little trip. Uh, yeah, I want to thank folks for watching. I do appreciate it. We have a shout out to the folks watching the VOD, whether it be on Twitch or over on the YouTube archive. I do hope you enjoy the content and that you are able to catch a live stream at some point. Follow the channel if you like. Join the Discord if you want. Both are great ways to keep track of when I do come online. You can sub to the channel here on Twitch. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep me in video games. Super supportive. All that good stuff. Over on YouTube, like the video. Comment. Tell me... Uh, Tell me how you're feeling about this playthrough so far. Like, we're, we're, we're still staying Paragon. Like, there's no way we're not being Paragon. But yeah, like, tell, tell, me, tell me something that you've enjoyed in this whole adventure so far. But yeah. Like the video, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. I hear they help. I don't even know. But, yeah, next scheduled stream should be Saturday night. Unless something else jumps out that I wasn't expecting, I think Chivalry? Since that's the uh, remaining uh, PlayStation Plus game for the month. But yeah, I'm going to keep my eyes out just in case there's something else 
that can fill in the the role while chivalry is still on sale for the rest of the month. But yeah, I do hope everybody's taking care of themselves with everything going on. I have been somebody nowhere. You have been amazing. And I do hope to see you next time.